Being an FEM means growing as a person in yourself, but doing that in the sense of helping others grow and helping others flourish when they would have had the opportunity to do so. Service is a very broad word, but as an FEM, we like to look at it as um, love lived in service. And it's basically a way for us to share the gospel by helping others. So although it's the term service, I don't really see myself as serving others, but working alongside of others. I learn from the people I work with as much as they learn from me. I don't know, like I'm just super blessed and thankful that like I get to do stuff that I never thought I'd be able to do. Thanks. You know their names? Yeah, Chadwick Jackson. Yep. It's, it's just an, like an honor and a privilege, honestly. It's like a lot of fun. We go about our ministries. Sometimes we're doing it together. Sometimes we're doing it separately. And we congregate at night afterwards and we all have dinner with one another. Somebody is man enough to go into the kitchen and start making dinner. And then we all get together, we have a good prayer, and we talk about our days. There's somebody going through almost exactly what I'm going through. There's somebody who's sitting there by my side, day by day, day in and day out, who is just always willing to listen or to talk about what we're doing and maybe sometimes to tell me that maybe I am just a little bit crazy. Maybe that shouldn't have been what we should have been doing. Or they'll give me different ways on how to deal with a stressful day. We also have the ability to form connections with uh, Friars Information, those living at Holy Name College. And we get to eat dinner with them every other week and then with our fr Friars Supervisor every week. It's amazing to see um, them grow in their spirituality and how that affects me and my future. One of my goals coming this year was to grow spiritually and I didn't realize how much I would actually grow. Being a part of a multicultural uh, parish has been a blessing. People from different backgrounds, songs sung in different languages, um, people who are truly happy to be there and to celebrate their faith is a wonder and just inspiring for me. What's great about being an FEM is that you grow as a person. You're constantly and always changing and evolving. You find out that maybe you're not as strong as you thought you were. You sometimes you find out that maybe you are more fantastic than you thought you were. But each and every day you learn something brand spanking new and that to me is the best part about being an FEM. I got more than I expected. I just expected to have that good feeling, you know, of like, oh, I helped someone. But like within that I learned what my strengths are and what I can bring to people. Um, and how to deal with everyday problems on it, like throughout my life. When I was considering if I would do a year of FEM, um, I had a lot of things on my mind, including the potential to go get a job. Um, after being in college for four or five years and getting a degree, uh, there's a lot of stress on you to make money and get a job. But there's no better time in our lives than after college or between years of college to think of doing service. Um, it's definitely a year I've never regretted and I'll remember throughout my life. It's an opportunity to get to know other people and to really know how it is to be a humble servant. Um, I don't think we can appreciate work and life without learning what it is to serve others. You don't have to be perfect at all to uh, be an FEM, um, especially working with kids. You'll mess up and mess up, but it's all trial and error and the kids will appreciate you more knowing that uh, you're not perfect and you know that you can see that like the people that you're that you're, you're helping can appreciate that that you were all just human beings you know we're all imperfect and we all have our faults we don't ha always have to be right or wrong we just have to be there to help